All right, y'all. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. This is your Black China Doll coming to you a little bit different today. I'm in the kitchen. Well, this is the other side of the kitchen. I'm usually I'm on the other side with the background, but um, this morning we are recording, right? Okay, this morning um, I'm gonna be making breakfast and talking to you guys. Uh, maybe this will work out better for me. But this morning I'll be making my son breakfast. Uh, anybody know about Aldi's? So these are really good from Aldi's. These are fully cooked maple flavored uh, pork sausage patties. Love these. And they're like round. Really cool. So we're going to be doing uh, Lift Chronicles today. Uh, I can get this open. I can get this open. Lift Chronicles today. And what that is, is um, I'm a Lyft driver, and um, it's just stories that, uh, things that I have encountered, I have encountered as a Lyft driver. Oh, goodness, God. Okay, so you guys know I'm coming off my birthday week, right? Man, I had so much fun. I had so much fun. Man, that's the end of this. I gotta just kill this. But it comes 18 in a pack. So, Chronicles as a Lyft driver. Uh, first of all, let me just say thank you for tuning, tuning in to my channel. Um, if you're new here, hey, welcome to the family. And as you can see, I got a t-shirt that says, Normal People Scare Me. So, you know what I'm saying? And people who always just ain't got no problems and they just like, they scare the hell out of me. Um. I, I don't like them kind of people. But anyway, um, so if you're new here, welcome. And um, if you've been rolling with me for a minute, thank you, baby. And uh, let's get started. Okay, so, let's try. So, let's see, the last, not the last one, but this is like, when I first started driving with Lyft, and um, I uh, I was still kind of apprehensive about doing it. Oh goodness, I still was apprehensive about doing it, but you know, went ahead and did it because you know um, I was you know still scared. You know these strange people getting in your car. I know these people, and. Uh, So this is one of my first um, customers or passengers. So I'll pick her up around 5.45. Around 5.45 is after work, you know, after my regular job. Um, I'm going to be making, I really wanted to buy some McDonald's today, but I ain't got no McDonald's money. So I'm going to make my son... Um, Homemade uh, sausage and biscuit, homemade sausage and egg um, sandwich. It's good. So I've been using uh, for my seasoning instead of Laurie's. Now I use Goya, and um, this seasoning is absolutely wonderful. It comes in different flavors. It just wastes up the food. At any rate, so I'll be putting that in my egg. Okay, so I pick up this passenger at by like 545. You know, and um, when they get in the, in the, in your car, you know, you're supposed to say um, your name or whatever, right? To make sure, you know, you're getting the right person in your, your vehicle. Or whatever. So I said, your name? She just gets in the car and starts, you know, rambling or whatever. And she's talking on the phone. And I'm like, your name? And she's like, oh, what? I was like, your name? She was like, oh, yeah, my name's Tasha. And I'm like, oh. So the lady, I supposed to be good. name is Tasha. So, yeah, that's the person. Or whatever. So, you know, so you can't help but to hear people talking on their phone. And that thing, when people take lift. 
be having no conversations that's nasty and stuff or inappropriate on the phone. But I guess they don't give a damn, you know. Just say it. So anyway, she talking on the phone. And I can't help but hear, like, the conversation she having. Like, you know, and it's kind of raunchy. It's kind of like um, combative where it sounds like I'm about to drive her to this person. So anyway, um, so she talking. She like, uh, yeah, it's uh, I'm on my way, and duh, 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 duh. and yeah, you just wait till I get there, itch, duh, 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 whatever, whatever. Homegirl hangs up, she hangs up, or whatever. So she just sitting there, she like, you know, riled up. I mean, she's riled up, but she's not riled up to the point where it's bothering me. So, um, we get down there, whatever. And you know, when you turn a corner, when you turn right, or whatever, and you can see, like, um, it's, it's neighborhood. You see, like, people standing in the street, or whatever. So, you know, I'm taking my time because I don't want to hit nobody, or whatever. And they riled up in the street, or whatever. You know, all they in the street, or whatever. And I'm like driving, or whatever. So, the thing says, You arrive. Now, it, it drives me past the crowd, but just further enough for, like, you know probably like mm, 10 feet, 10 feet away, or whatever, right, so home chick gets out the car, now, they got something in lift where you can have two, two, um, two rides, well, you know what I'm saying, like, I sit there and I can wait for you, excuse me guys, I can sit there and I can wait for you, right, so this is the kind of ride she had, where, you know, you can get out the car, go in the house, get something, come back, get back in the car, and I take off. So, she had that kind of ride, right? So, she gets out the car, slam my damn back door. I'm like, first of all, I'm mad about that. I slam my damn door. I hate when people slam my damn door. They act like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, but anyway, that's a whole other story. So, she gets out the car. Now, when she gets out the car, the, the crowd is back that way. She over here with my car. So anyway, she get out the car. Yeah, Ben. Do, 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 do. Ben do, 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 do. She's walking towards the car, walking towards the crowd. And I'm like, I know damn well. I didn't just drive her to a fight. Yes, I drove her to the fight. So anyway, I drive her to a fight. She, her and the girl coming at, they going at each other. I'm sitting there. And the thing is like a clock. The clock, the thing is like a clock. It started like four, four, four minutes. It's going down. It's going down. Or whatever. Um, four, two. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's counting down to tell me when I can leave again. Right? So anyway, I'm in my rearview mirror. I'm looking. And she over there talking to the girl. They going woo woo at it or whatever. Boom! A fight break out. They fighting. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm looking at the clock. And I'm thinking in my head, what the fuck do I do? Do I leave? Um, do I stay? I don't know what the fuck to do. So I just keep looking at the clock. And I'm looking in my rearview mirror. Home cheek is getting it. Tasha getting it. Boom, 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 boom. She whooping this girl. Crowd on the side. Like, ah! I'm like, oh my God. Oh, whatever, right? It was 21 seconds left. Home chick hit her again. Boom. Knocked her on the floor. She runs to the car. The crowd start running behind her. She runs to the car. It was like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I got my foot on the goddamn gas, boy, man. I was ready to go. Because these people coming over there. She jumps in the car. I take off. I was like, oh, my damn God. I done drove this girl to a fight. She then fought this girl, whooped her ass, and left her on the ground. And we driving off. And I just, I couldn't say nothing. I couldn't, I was just, it was so, it, it, I'm sorry, it was so excited. 
But I couldn't say nothing because I was just like, oh my God, I don't believe that just happened. So anyway, after that, she uh, changed her shirt. She was changing her shirt in the car. She had on a white t-shirt in the car. When she left, she had on a red t-shirt or oh, whatever, right? And then I guess I, I drove her to her second location. Her second location was her job. So whatever, she went to work and boom, it was over. Gave me a $5 tip. And boom, it was over. I was just like, I don't like them kind of rides. <laughs> oh, goodness. I don't like them kind of rides where it's a, a second location. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't like them kind of rides where it's a second location because you don't know where the hell you going. You don't know where the hell you going. And, you know, something like that could happen where you're driving these people to do something crazy. Like I did. You know? And, and that was crazy to me. I couldn't believe that. I was like, oh my God. Um... I couldn't believe I took that girl over there to to, to whoop off on <laughs> to whoop off on the uh, this other lady whoever she was whoever she was she wasn't ready she wasn't ready she wasn't ready at all y'all um so anyway that is my lift story for today I was the getaway driver and I didn't know I was the getaway driver for a fight. And I was just thinking, you know, once I started thinking about it, I said, damn, I could have went to jail. I don't know, because I just didn't know what was going on at first. I, I didn't catch on to what was going on till, um she walked, till she walked over to that girl and, and said a couple of words and just, bam, bam, they just started going at it. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm looking at that clock like... I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm looking at that clock like I'm ready to go. That clock was still at, you know, time for me to sit there. But at any rate, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen as a Lyft driver as of yet. You know? She she knew she was going to be fighting this lady. Or this girl, whoever it was. She knew she was going to be fighting her. And, um, went over there, I'm in, and got a lift, <laughs> I was just like, oh my God, this is too much. Anyway, I am like at 13 minutes, so let me let y'all go. But I just wanted to um, come in and say hey, and go ahead and get this done, get two things done at one time. I would have tried that way. All right, guys, this is your Black China Doll with your Lift Chronicles, uh, don't be the getaway driver.